Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk all about uh, ways of passing the real estate license exam for the state of Washington. So today I'm going to go over again like I did the last video of questions and answers from the real estate license exam. So if anyone's curious about that, uh, the practice exams I use is through uh, Rockwell Institute, which is a real estate uh, institute in Washington state. Basically, what I'm doing is I am taking practice exams through Rockwell Institute and going over questions I got wrong. So let's go. Okay, question. Which of the following is most likely to be considered a fixture? Draperies, lamps, plumbing, or washing machine? Answer is plumbing. Explanation. Plumbing is permanently attached to the real property and would be difficult to remove without dismantling large parts of the building. It is therefore likely to meet any fixture test. A washing machine can be removed without damage to the house. Or, yeah. All right, question. The D that states that there is a convenience of interest, if any, is the what? Answer, quit claim deed. Explanation. When signing a quit claim deed, the grantor is saying, I hereby quit claim remise and release whatever interest I have in the property, if any. Okay, question. All the following are requirements of a valid deed except what? Answer is acknowledgement. Explanation. Acknowledgement is, a, is not a requirement for a valid deed. Acknowledgement is necessary for the de deed to be recorded, but a deed is not that is not recorded may still be valid. Ooh. Okay, question. A promissory note that is secured by a mortgage is what? Answer, primary evidence of the debt. So a promissory note that is secured by a mortgage is primary evidence of a debt. More you know. Explanation. The note is evidence of the debt. The mortgage makes the property security for the debt. Question. The market price of a property would be best defined as what? The amount, answer, the amount paid to obtain the property. Explanation. Market price is simply the price that someone paid in an actual transaction. It's not an estimate of the value. Okay, question. Of the following types of contracts, which one is a unilateral contract? Answer is option. The explanation is an option is a unilateral contract. In other words, only one party is obligated to act. Exercising the option creates a bilateral purchase and sale contract. Question. A buyer would be protected from risk of loss due to a failed heating system through what? Answer, a home protection plan. Explanation, a home protection plan is a short-term warranty that a home buyer may purchase at closing. Sometimes a seller pays for it on the buyer's behalf. The buyer will be reimbursed for expensive rela expenses related to the failure of conveyed systems or appliances, usually only during the first few years of ownership. All right, question. A tenancy in which the tenant is in possession with the permission of the landlord, but there is no definite rental period or duration of possession is called what? Answer, an estate at will. Explanation. This is the definition of an estate at will or a tenancy at will. In contrast, a periodic estate is one with a repeating period, hence periodic, such as month to month tenancy. As an estate for years is one with a fixed ending date, such as a one year lease. Okay, here's a good one. A Washington real estate licensee's license has expired, but he did not pay his license fee as required. His license can be reinstated if he what? Answer, 
pays back renewal fees plus penalties. Explanation. A license that has been properly renewed will expire. It can be reinstated within one year of the expiration if the licensee pays a penalty and any back fees. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I totally had neighbors like just stop to watch me film this. <laughs> okay, anyways. Question. In preparation for a license appeal proceeding, the director of the Department of Licensing prepares a full transcript of the original disciplinary hearing and, per the law, submits it to the court along with the cost to prepare the material. Who's responsible for paying this? The answer is the licensee or appealant. Explanation. If a licensee is dissatisfied with an outcome of a disciplinary hearing, she may file an appeal in Superior Court. The licensee must pay for a copy of the transcript of the hearing. Question. Who is ultimately responsible for the delivery of the earnest money? Answer is the designated broker. Explanation. While the licensee who receives the fund has initial responsibility for handling the deposit in compliance with the license law, as with all brokerage activities, the designated broker has ultimate responsibility. Okay, this might be a no-brainer one, but I definitely got it wrong. A question. A real estate broker is what? Answer, affiliated licensee. Explanation. A real estate broker is considered the brokerage firm's affiliated licensee. And on that note, I feel like I've gone through that question before and I'm still getting it wrong. So if anyone has any ideas how to help me retain all of this large amount of knowledge, let me know. I am open. Okay, question. When may an unlicensed attorney, in fact, while acting on behalf of her principal, engage in an activity that would otherwise require a real estate license? Answer, when acting without compensation. Explanation, an attorney, in fact, is not required to have a real estate license as long as she or he or she is acting without compensation. Question, a landowner is negotiating the lease of his land to a developer who wants to build a mall there. They should use a what? Answer, ground lease. Explanation. A ground lease is used when a tenant leases land and constructs a building on that land. Later, retailers in the mall would use percentage leases to lease space within the mall from the developer. Okay guys, so that's all I got for today's video. If you have any questions or whatever, or any ways to help, because this is a lot of information, like I said, and uh, we can all use as much help as we can. Uh, shout out to all the help I'm getting so far with this, especially the people that helped me out with getting into um, the, what do you call it, Rockwell Institute? <laughs> kind of email. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let me know. I'll probably have some more Q&As for the next video of this stupid exam. And yeah, let's get through it together. Um, all right. See you in the next video.